Hey guys, it's LO underscore Rybun or Rybun here, and today we're going to be playing some Project Zomboid. Uh, this game was very nicely gifted to me by someone you guys may know as either Poo on Twitch or Nick on YouTube. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with zombie games in general, um, <laughs> and I don't really know much about what we're getting ourselves into here, but I am excited to give it a try. Um, I'm trying out putting my microphone um, directly in front of my in front of my face, as it's supposed to be. Uh, personally, I don't like having my microphone this close, and it makes me feel really weird. Uh, but maybe that's just part of the uh, part of the experience. I don't know if this means you'll be hearing my breathing a lot more in this video. And if you do, I'll try to correct it and all that stuff. Uh, but we'll have to see. Anywho, um, we'll go ahead and do solo, do you want a tutorial? Sure. The end times, mm, perfect. So we'll try to get uh, a fair amount of content out of this. Um, I'm not sure, realistically, I mean, Realistically, I'm not sure how to uh, how the game progresses and stuff. I've played Seven Days to Die before, um, which is another zombie game, but it's first person and it's uh, like base building and surviving the seventh night type deal. Um, whereas this one is no project on the way. Shortly you'll find yourself dying horribly. No one will mourn you and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you, you go out fighting for space to continue. Weather patterns in Project Zomboid are realistic. A simulated climate system uses the time of year virtual weather fonts to create the rain, snow, fog, and thunderstorms at relevant times of year. You have to find certain things to get uh, temperature on your UI. Uh, there's wind chill. So it seems like one of those games where there are tons of little intricacies, um, and the attention to detail was spent more so on the gameplay side than the graphics side, per se. Um, but that's oftentimes a good thing. Things first you can. Zoom with your mouse wheel, or the equals minus keys. Okay, let's get a bird, bird's eye view of the lonely place. Let's zoom back in again. Great. Right. Clicking the heart icon will bring up your character information. Health, scratches, bites, broken limbs, all shown here for your convenience. Perfect, nice. Okay. Huh? Speaking of which, let's check out the exciting skills panel. Is this one maybe? No. This one? This one? That's furniture. Oh! You're really good at this. It's going to be such a shame to lose you. Know, this panel shows your points and various survival skills. While attempting to delay your death, in game activities will build up skill points that level you up in uh, that particular discipline. Your learning speed can be increased by reading books. Ultimately, your brain will become the cold, dead sludge. But in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? I'm really excited about what's coming next. Just close the character panel and find out what. It's looking at stuff. Hold down the right mount button and uh, move the mouse. You'll turn to face every angle. You can only see in the direction you're facing. Oh, nice. Perfect. Holding. <laughs> Sprint back to the marker in the kitchen. Wait. Where do I get in this door? Um. The region we saw by looting the homes of the recent deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel, expand it. Is that this? Yay! Pick up the bottle. Okay. 
Do you see the noodles? Oh, moodles. Those moodles. Looks like someone has, has a rumbly tummy. Time to eat. Oh, uh, we're eating the mouse. Okay. Yay. Here we go. Oh, wait. Grab. How do I... Right clicking an item. Eat a half of the mouse? No, we'll eat the whole thing. Okay, let's fill your water bottle up before the water is cut off, right? Uh, clicking on items in the world will also bring up interaction. Okay. You automatically drink from any water that's carried in your main inventory. Now let's see what is in the other cupboards. Open the loot panel back up. Ooh, weapon. I thought I just saw something else in here though. Am I crazy? Yo, how do I grab all of them? Oh, sweet. Read it. Read it. Read it. Oh, you just. Oh, okay. You have to AFK and read it. Gotcha. You just sit there and read it. Well, near enough. Right click the frying pan and select equip primary to use as a weapon. Did I not do that? I thought I did. Oh, no. How do I get to it? Um, that's crafting. So it has to be here. This is the inventory. You see your equipment. I guess it's a different thing. All right, our first technical difficulty. Okay, so uh, it was not a technical difficulty at all. I never grabbed the thing. Um. Uh, let's not talk about it, I guess. I think I clicked on one of these. Uh, it's getting stuff in here. Let's pop open a whip. Uh, this does not sound like a good idea. E. Oh. What the hell? <gasps> Left mouse button to... Huh? I'm clicking it, I swear. <laughs> this zombie is the nicest zombie ever. I'm clicking. Hammer, left mouse button. I swear I'm hammering the left mouse button. Do I have to do left mouse button with the weapon? I'm so confused. I'm clicking. Feel free to hammer left mouse button to pierce your brain. Dude, I don't know. This game's making me feel like I am dumb. <laughs> Please. I'm clicking, I swear. LMB. There we go. I'll check the Zomboid Survival Guide F1 for more tips on... What's this thing? Okay. Okay. If you hear a zombie bite, 
Uh, then press Q and you'll swallow the antidote for the infection. All hope is gone, there is no antidote. Have fun. So are we actually playing now? Oh. Okay, friends. I'll just, uh... Get straight, right? Oh, nice. They won't find me in the woods. I'm not worried about it. Here it is, here it is. Turn left. I'm 90% sure we're completely safe. Look at this. We lost them. Okay, maybe not. Hold up, we turn the corner. We take the window. Oh, it's locked. Alright, we go, uh... We go, uh... Right behind this tree. Yeah, I think we actually lived. That's right. I have to pierce their brains, though, huh? Do the thing. Do the thing we totally learned how to do. Wait, why am I slow? They run out of stamina? Is there stamina? Yeah, wait, I'm not taking damage. Am I taking damage? Oh, now it sounds like I'm taking damage. Is there a health bar? Get him. I don't know why you're facing this way. Face this way. I think we just let the zombies take us. This is just the tutorial though, right? Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just assume that's the end of the tutorial. <laughs> we'll actually get into a game now. Um. Yeah, I'm a casual. I'll play normal. Why not? Next. Sure. It's KY Kentucky. Dude, I'll play Melissa Peterson. Heck yeah. Um. Sure. I'm not gonna change anything because I don't know what's happening, and so I don't wanna. Looks like some Heroes of Hammer Watch plus, plus and minus stuff. I don't want to muck with it until I know what's happening. I'm unemployed. You can get employed? Ooh. space to be having wonder. Fairly heavy load? Oh shoot. Sure. I've gotta put some stuff back. Um eat the zucchini. Wait, that's yogurt. What I really want, more than anything. Ooh, butcher knives. Kitchen knives. I'll put the dog food back. Food's important though, I'd assume. Maybe these bowls? Oh. Okay, they sound important. Why is everything important? Oh, there's so much stuff in this house, though. Um. Let's 
let's just wait. I mean, drop it. Pick it up. Please. Got a butcher knife now. Close that. Alright, let's see if this works any better now that. Oh no, how do I close this? Gotcha. Let's see if it works any better now. Wait. Did it just break? Okay, we're able to thoroughly stomp on people now. Did we make noise? Is that, is that how that works? Why'd it break, man? I don't know what the the game plan is for this game. Is there a hotkey for inventory? I okay. No, 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 I mean the... I for inventory. Ooh, fishing rod sounds useful. All of this stuff sounds kind of useful. Hammer would be a good weapon. We'll grab that. Wait. Another one in here. All right. Ooh, a big house. Oh, well, I don't know how to do anything with that door, so. Oh, there's a zombo. <laughs> Okay, so what I've learned, what I've learned so far. No, no, push him. Push him till he dies. Let's see here. What I've learned so far is that you should not trust knives at all. They're awful. Uh, drop. Where is this? Equip. No, hit him. Don't push him. Boom. That's right. Hit him with it. Yes, the knives appear to be really good weapons in terms of damage. But really awful in terms of everything else. Slight panic. Do your best to remain calm. I'll break into this house to remain calm. Poor lady, she probably died in here all alone. Assuming there's no one behind me. Um. Alright, cool, we killed her. This door is locked, we know that. Let's go upstairs. Oh, shoot! She didn't die all alone. I don't want to do carpentry. I'm trying to fight this. Yeah, that's right. Wait, is she still alive? Oh, shoot! Run! No, why aren't you running? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I don't want to do carpentry. God. Can you just left click the swing? Do you have to right click first? You do. I think he died, to be honest, but I don't know how to finish him. Alright, we're, uh, we're bleeding. Okay, let's look for a medicine cabinet. Let's, uh, inventory. Oh. Oh, video game. 
I'll take this. Died. Ah. <laughs> uh, ooh, I'm a zombo now. Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to give this another go in a few seconds because uh, I clearly have no clue what I'm doing. All right. Hopefully, uh, with that volume, we're a little bit better. Uh, the other thing is, I have moved my mic from when I started this video. So, I'll post that a little bit different. Um, but I think as a whole, this should work better for everyone. Hopefully I'm a little bit clearer. And I'm hoping that my breathing doesn't come through, but we'll have to see. Um, so the thing we'll do is this guy in normal, just like before. And we're gonna probably die in the next two seconds, but we'll try to be a little bit more careful. Uh, well, random, next, random, next, why not? So we are a restless sleeper, we're prone to illness, we're feeble, we're, but we're a speed de demon. We don't need sleep. We, we've got extra first aid skill, and we're less likely to be spotted. Um, I've had absolutely no change in experience from when you just saw me die two seconds ago. Uh, but hopefully this time goes a little bit better. Um, I'm really not good at this game, and I don't really know what the path is to get better. Uh, but I'm not super keen on looking up like a guide and then just following it straight forward. Uh, I think that'd be a little bit boring. So I'm going to try to figure out real quick on the second run how to play. Uh, and then maybe at that point uh, we'll have enough gameplay that you guys may know if you like this or not. Who knows? We'll have to see how long we live. So we're a dude this time. Um, e I don't remember, is it I for inventory? And then you can look through stuff with like right click. No, you move up here. Is that it? Yeah. So what you want is still food, I'm assuming. A butter knife for a weapon. Bowls are good for mixing. Uh, can opener, I feel like, is a good utility item. Got a hammer here. And, uh, tomato seeds sound like they have potential. Oh, for the trowel, we probably need to dig. It's like a weird thing. We're going to have too much weight again. Um, cabbage seeds, maybe? I try to be a little more, uh, logical with what I pick up. So I don't know where our weight's at, but so far we're okay. Engineer, fishing, good cooking. Are you serious already? All right. I always want to hit escape to close out of these things. There's a bunch of stuff like quality of life wise. I think they could change with this game. Um, like, like how do I close this without removing the actual thing? There it goes. Do I have to hit here, here. I don't know, maybe it's just because I have a high resolution monitor, who knows. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of stuff they could uh, change to make it a little bit better. Like, I would like, if I press right click on this, that it shows me my inventory. But um, I get you can also interact with things to open them up. It's probably just a like a learning curve type deal. We spawned a two floor house. The thing we should do not drop how do i turn my camera there it is pick this up let's equip this and uh Why are there two doors? Are there two rooms? There's two rooms. There's boxes, green paint. Wait, we can left click to check things. 
shovel sounds pretty good. Do we need clothes? Are we wearing clothes? We don't have belt. Let's get a belt. Why not? Um. I think it's equipped. Who knows? You can turn lights on and off. Let's crawl to the back window if we can. I think it's a little bit more sneaky. Now, I don't know what the purpose of this game is other than surviving. Um, so, like, logically speaking, you could just sit in the first house and read books. Uh, but maybe I'm, I'm wrong. That's just my opinion. Who knows? Because obviously you want to get skills up and stuff and craft. But th it's like there's almost like too much to take in at first. You know, do you build a base? Can you build? You can pick stuff up. You can place stuff. Does that mean I'm in their, like, little sight zone? Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna equip this hammer. Let's just run around for a bit. I feel like we should loot a house, but my thing with looting a house is... Where do we put all this stuff if we're already heavy? Well, can we get a car? Zombos are moving around. Oh, did this one see me? I think they died. Um, our hammer broke though. Somehow that zombie didn't see us. Is he breaking in? weapon for when he event eventually gets in. I wonder if that means there's there's people in here. Are there other people? Wait. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Is it this? Is this, this is what's driving him in here? See, like, there's all these books in here that are heavy that I want to, like, farming. I want this. I would want first aid. I'm just going to sit. Semi convinced he's never going to get in. It's just shaking. That that hit sounded a little bit more loud. Is there someone else in here? There's probably no zombies, right? If he's banging on the door. That's a nice bathroom. Oh, there's another door here. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit up here. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna uh, 
pop my inventory. Let's read a book. Let's see how long it takes. Let's do a uh, first aid. That's got to be important, right? So how long does this take? That's a progress bar, I'm guessing. Oh, we've got a little speed option up here. Maybe this will make it go faster. Hey, did he get in? Hey, that's a broken door. <laughs> Let's go find him. You're telling me you broke the door just to stand there. Oh, what does the TV say? Yeah, I got nothing out of that. I want to read my book, though. Where's the safest place to read a book? How fast do we run if we turn on extra speed? Can we not? Ooh, we're hungry. We can eat. Let's eat. We can drop anything that's broken. I want to find a car. Let's go find a car. I'm not sure how much... Uh, I'd put this game in my alley. I don't know why I can't speed up. There's so many questions I have. Oh, am I tired? Take a break. Alright. Dig graves? Oh, heck yeah. Can I get in? <laughs> I'm just saying. That looks incredibly nice for a zombie apocalypse car. Either A, these people are alive, or B, I'm about to hotbox this. I mean, not hotbox. What's the, what's the Y? What's the... Who? Who saw me? I don't see anyone. How do I... Yeah. Overall condition's really good. Take some gravel and what? I want to know. Wait, how do I get in the... Wait, why does one equip my weapon? How do I get in? See, I can look at the vehicle's condition. If I smash the windshield, can I get in? I can't. Alright, I just smashed the windshield for no reason. Hey, you think that, that person's mad at me? Yeah, it looks like it. Hold up. Uh, do I have a weapon? Oh, a shovel. My shovel's a weapon. Hello? <laughs> Alright. We sure showed that person. I want to get a car. That's all I want in life. Let me drive this car. Wait. Smash? Smash what? Smash front left window. That wasn't an option before. How do I get in? 
Oh. Oh. Oh, sound. That's right, sound is a bad thing in zombie games. Uh, what if we go hide in the woods? Like we did during the tutorial. It was the ultimate, ultimate thing. We're probably okay. But we get to, a tree moves. Okay, that, that car is really loud. We took a break though. Let's uh, let's see some uh... You know what, this is the perfect time. <laughs> this is the perfect time to read some uh, first aid, some first aid books. Make sure we're up the snuff on the, in the world of taking care of ourselves. Dude, I'm amazed it's still going on. Zombies get angry at noises, right? Do they just go check it out? Are they not feeding it up? You actually read it pretty quickly. There's a bar here. Oh, it stopped. So I guess you're supposed to um, actually take your time with the game and read all the books in the first house so you can drop them. Maybe that's my issue. I mean, there's a lot to learn. There's clearly a lot to learn. My issue with uh, games like this, like uh, like pacing wise, is hey, I'm reading a book here. Okay, gosh, get out of it. I don't even know if I'm hitting you. Yeah, that's right. This isn't the freaking fisherman's club. This is the book reading club, right? So. My problem with with stuff that's paced like this, with all this mechan, all these uh, no 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 wait no 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 no, first aid book. I gotta read this thing. I gotta go back to reading. Wait, do we not remember what page we were on? Oh, we do, we do. All right. Uh, my issue with like stuff that's paced like this, with this many mechanics, is that it's often overwhelming and it almost like puts me off of the game. Um, just having to learn how all this stuff works while figuring out what you're even supposed to be doing. Like it's a zombie survival, right? So the goal is to survive, but like in seven days to die, there's a very clear cut. Ex oh, there's another one coming potentially. Oh no, we're good. They're going that way. Um, it's very clear cut, like called seven days to die. So you have seven days to prepare to not die, right? So you can build a base. You can hide away in a normal default generated house or something. You can, you can run around on the seventh night if you really are into that or something. Um, <laughs> but it, there's not a lot to it. You can mine trees, you can mine trees, you can chop trees. You can mine stone, you can go looting, and that's all there is to it. And while there's a, a genuine rate of progression, you'll be introduced to stuff like the forge or the campfire. Shh. Shh. They don't know we're here. We're being quiet. This is the library. Um, while, while you get all these progression things, they're introduced in sort of like a an order in which you can learn how to use all these things and then as you go you know make improvements and stuff whereas this is like you have all the options available to you but do you know how to do the options type deal i'm not saying that's a bad thing in a lot of ways uh the beauty of this game is that it's you can do whatever right it just usually doesn't fall into uh, my realm of what I usually do, uh, what, what what games I play and stuff like that. Can we read and walk? No. I'm pretty sure we confirmed that before. Um, let's go back to that car. 
Wait, what if we held E to interact with it? I never tried that. Aw, oh, heck yeah. Let me in. The lock is broken. I don't care if the lock's broken. I smashed the window. Alright, this person's chilling. Let's try to get into this side. Alright. Um... Our goal is to get a car. But yeah, for, for stuff like this, it's often a, a lot, a lot of overwhelming stuff for me. Um, where it's almost like too much for me to take in. Oh! <gasps> it's empty on fuel. We gotta find a gas station or something. Hey, I'm trying to fuel my car here, okay? Go away. Gosh. All right. The other thing that's interesting is the best weapon so far is is the shovel. Cause it just doesn't break. Look at this thing. That's right. All right, let's go find a gas station. Um, so I'm trying my best to learn as I go, but I, I probably won't get a lot done because I, I just, I lack that path and knowledge. And if I had that knowledge, All right, a fence. That means probably not a gas station. This could be a gas station. Wait, wait. What is this? <gasps> All right, well, there's a lot of zombies here. This is like a storage unit. This has potential to give us some excellent gains. Is this a door? Oh, you can go over the fence. Ah, uh, psych! Alright. Alright, it's a parking lot. You think they have a gas station, guys? They have cars. Hold up. I'm trying to find gas, my dudes. I think we have to break in. Hold up. Smash window. Smash window. Now go in. We just set off an alarm. Hi, friend. Um, I'm gonna just quickly climb out of here. And while they're all being distracted by that noise... Oh, they're coming out of the building, too. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Alright, so there's one thing I've learned is don't smash glass. But uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out what the 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 I don't know what to call it. I'm trying to figure out what the thing about this game that makes it um like okay so so Minecraft right? There is no point in surviving in Minecraft. What's the point of surviving? Well, actually, I guess now they have the Ender Dragon. I started playing Minecraft way back in the day in Alpha. And so literally the only reason to play the game was to just take it all in and enjoy the experience. Um, but that was super, super cool to me. Um, this thing has potential to be like that too, I guess. Um, but most games that I play nowadays, there's like a, like a purpose, you know, like a direct, um, man, I'm telling you, just hit this person with your shovel. There you go. Like, I play lots of League of Legends. The point of League of Legends is to take down the enemy Nexus. I play Seven Days to Die. The point is to survive the seventh night. Not just to survive, but to survive X. Um, which I think has a lot more... Um, purpose is not the right word. Um, but it makes it a lot easier to have a reason to progress. Have a direction to go in. Um, and seven days aside, because the seventh night is so gruesome, you want to prepare supplies. Whereas in this, what's the point of not just getting in a house? Of course, the like like I said earlier, the beauty of this game is that you can do whatever you want. Um, if you want to hole yourself up in a house, 
you can do it. If you want to try to find gasoline for your car, you can... The rusty rifle. <gasps> hey, they're open. Um, the beauty of this is that you have freedom and lots to do, right? That's the beauty of it. But it's also the thing that makes it harder oh, for someone like me to pick up. No, I don't want to die. Please, this is my best run. Alright, they're both dead. Nope. Wait, I want to turn on these lights. I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Being able to see is kind of nice. That's a bathroom. Like a mechanics thing. A medical thing, maybe? Alright, well, I want to find something to loot my whole thing so let's, let's look at this box and nails screwdriver I'll take this uh, I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying and I've been talking about it for a long time so I'm just gonna stop but basically my, 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 my point is this game has a lot of potential there's a lot you can do very clearly um, but for someone like me, that is very overwhelming. It's usually something that makes me stray away from these types of games. <gasps> Let's drink it. I love orange soda, on a side note. What's your guys' favorite soda? I don't drink a lot of soda anymore. Um, but when I do drink soda, ooh, potato seeds. When I do drink soda, soda of the, you know, I knew this was going to be a bar, because of its name, but I also thought there would be guns. Hey, excuse me, I'm looking for, um, yeah, we've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. Thank you very much. Razor. I feel like that could be a weapon, but it's not. Adhesive bandages. Okay. Cotton balls. Bleach is probably good. There's definitely a lot to learn in this game, though. And I think that's a really cool thing. My, my general consensus so far is this game is a really, really good game. It's really polished in a lot of ways. Um, not 100% necessarily in the graphics department, which is totally fine. I think it's a beauty to focus more on your game's gameplay than the graphics itself. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure if this is the game for me really sucks because I know you bought it for me, Pooh. Uh, I call Nick Pooh because that's where I, I usually talk to Pooh on Twitch and that's the username there. Um, I want this gas station. It's like the last, I, the, the thing I want to do more than anything is drive a freaking car. Maybe just run into cars with gas. Maybe I should stop trying. I don't even know where that car is anymore. Um, but I want to do you justice, and I want to do my best to, to enjoy the game. Um, and that's kind of where I'm coming out. Let's see if we can find a car. I'm so slow. I can't run anymore. I don't know why. Is it because I'm exhausted? Excessive exertion. Can barely walk. Oh. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, 
That's a lot of woods. This is a lot of woods. Can we rest? Wait, forage? No, I want to find a house. How do I find a map? There probably is one. And I know, like, realistically, I'm probably playing this game completely wrong. Um, like I said in my little preface, I don't play a lot of zombie games. And really, I don't play a lot of survival games. I play Ark. Because I like dinosaurs. And I play uh, Seven Days to Die. Um, which. <laughs> I, I, my favorite thing in Seven Days to Die. Is leveling up. And I have. Almost zero care. For looting. Which makes me this really weird person. I would rather. Chop trees and gain XP. Than loot. Just because I like the the potential of gaining EXP and leveling up and gaining skills and stuff. So, our fists kind of work as weapons too. I really want to find a car. But actually, I think I have to find a house first now. I was originally figuring... Um, let's walk through the woods, we'll find a house eventually. But I think actually we need to just walk down the road till we find a house. Honestly, though, um, I don't know. I, I feel, I feel like this game has so much to offer. It's almost a shame that I'm not enjoying it as much as I think I should be. <gasps> guys, guys, there's a zombie. We haven't seen one of those. <gasps> There's a gate. There's a gate. There's another zombie. We've made it. Oh my god. What is this? A military base? It looks like barbed wire. Excuse me. I think we're okay. Johnny James. That's your name, right? Where do I see information about you, Johnny James? You're 27. Wait, you weigh 80? This one is not pounds. It's gotta be kilos, right? <gasps> a building. It's a railroad building. You think they have beds in there? Probably not. Maybe. Um, well, I hear knocking, but if we just ignore that and we go upstairs, I think there's a bed, there's a chair, oh, there's another floor. And are those windows? Darn. Johnny James, this is gonna be your place where you finally get to sleep. We're gonna have to move on, Johnny James. You know, I was really hoping. I was really hoping. I got excited for you, Johnny James. It gets really dark in this building though. Where's the light switch? Yeah, you know, at this point if a zombie chases me, I just die. I'm moving at the pace of a slug on salt. It's, it's not a it's not a good life. Oh, another building though. This may be where everyone sleeps. How do we break into this? It sounds like someone else is trying to do the same thing. Yeah, they're trying to break into that. Um, I 
Maybe this will lead to people? Who knows? Our journey can... Oh, there's a guy I walked right past. Okay, let's not run into these guys. Oh. This is gonna be tricky. I don't think that'll have a bed either. I mean, these railroad houses suck. I think trains are super cool, though. I like trains. Let's go, uh... Hey, guys, you know you can just walk in, right? I'll let you do your thing, though. Yeah, it's like the same building as before. Here, I'll let him in. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Get him, Johnny James. Johnny James, this is like the most low-effort stabbing I've ever seen you do. You gotta, you gotta stab the brain. Alright, Johnny James, let's get out of here. Minor pain. You got the pain tolerance of a truck, my guy. That's probably why you're still alive, Johnny James. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go in this building. It's got James written on it. See? It says James. It means it's my property. Let's go in. Wait. There's a bunch of trash in here. Is there a bed? Can I get a bed? Can I please get a bed? I just want a place to sleep. Thank you very much. Um, so we haven't gotten any more tired or exhausted, so that's good. Can we climb this fence? Do we want to climb this fence? I don't know. Johnny James, what are your thoughts on the matter? That's nice. Is that a house? Is that supposed to be like a railroad car? A train car? Oh, this person's coming to kill me, I think. Ooh, can we... Yeah, I'll fight ya. Come here. My name isn't Johnny James. You know, there's probably such good stuff in here. But I just don't have the capacity for it. Is this a house? Does this mean house? What's the direct Google translation of this? House? <gasps> that looks like a gravel driveway. I will follow this to the ends of the earth if I have to. Oh no, it's actually gonna make me follow it to the end of the earth. Why is it so long? A little country house, a little mansion out in the forest. The ideal place to be murdered, be laid to rest for Johnny James. All right, it's getting a little bit more wooded. I don't know if I like this. Oh, but there's zombies. Zombies equals buildings. Buildings equals houses. <gasps> there it is. The mansion at the end of the, the path. I found it. The gravel path's mansion. Come on, Johnny James. All you have to do is get in there, buddy. All you have to do. Come on. There's no bed in here. All right. No, Johnny James, you don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. We'll ignore it. 
we'll politely say no thank you to the woman that is uh passionately chasing after us oh what's this unpleasantly hot consider taking off clothing thirst increased oh shoot johnny james give me a second um oh yeah you can uh, unequip this okay we're still hot um oh that's my key <gasps> wait 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 i didn't realize there's so many cars all right hold up hold up hold up sweater unequip all right johnny james don't be hot anymore okay we've got we've got missions to accomplish now these aren't houses but there's potential there's potential for a getaway is that back here right down the center what a man oh darn okay we can't get in that car there's a lot of cars here though i wonder why no okay what about this one what about this one no key wait All right, I think I need a key to use these cars. It was all for naught. All right, let's go find a house. Or a, a place of business. Welcome to Dixie. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna see what I'm being welcomed to. Dixie Mobile Park. <gasps> That's a house. Is there someone behind me? Oh, there's a few someone's behind me. Oh, that's a food market. All right, we're living, we're living pretty. Johnny, please. You just gonna make it inside this house. Oh shit. That's a nice shower. For how run down this place is. Holy crap. Man, I'm sorry. I didn't know you said no solicitors. I'll go to the next one. Gosh. These people never learn. Ooh. That's like a kitchen. Alright, these are houses. These are for sure houses. This is it. Wait, I can actually open this up? Can I crawl through? Okay, that makes absolutely no sense. Oh. Oh my god. It's the promised land. Johnny. Get in there. Put yourself to put yourself to sleep. Yes. I just heard like six pieces of glass break. I'm sure we're fine though. What's up? You invade my house? You get out of here. I'm Johnny James. You don't stand a chance. Who are you? Get out of here. Name's Johnny James. It's my house. All right. Let's take a shower, Johnny James. Can I not take a shower? I need water. What do we got in here? Bill. Yeah. I can't believe I've even made it this far. Oh, sweet orange let's eat an orange let's eat the bleach too well you can drink the bleach <laughs> Johnny James has made it this far we won't do that to him oh pickles I'm eating all the pickles 
All right. Here's what we'll do. We made it to a house. I'm going to call it quits. I've, I've seen... I've probably barely even scratched the surface of the surface of this game, to be honest. Because I spent most of my time walking around. Um, however, I'm like... 97-ish percent sure that this is probably not a game that I will have uh, quite realistically fun playing, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to see if I can refund this game um, and somehow get your money back to you, Pooh, because I feel bad. Uh, but I really appreciate the uh, opportunity to uh, experience it. Um, for everyone that watched up to this point, you guys have some sort of stamina, like, like Johnny James here. Um, <laughs> but uh, if you're wondering if this game's for you, uh, well, it may not be for me. Um, and it seems to have a very intricate uh, system behind it. Um, there's lots of skills. If you look here, you've got stuff for the blade, blunt, crafting, carpentry, cooking, farming, first aid, electrical, metal working, mechanics, um, fishing, trapping, foraging. I'm assuming once you get it off the ground, this game plays really well and there's lots to do. And it's probably one of those games that has a lot, I mean, a lot of content and opportunity. Um, but it's just a little bit too much for people like me that aren't very good at tackling a million things at once. Um, so if it's your sort of thing you might be into where you can level up skills by doing and stuff like that, at least that's what it looks like to me. Um, I definitely give it a shot. Um, while I did not have the best time of my life, I did enjoy, you know, experiencing all of Johnny James's uh, struggles in this world. And I'm glad we finally got to give him a rest. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Yet again, Pooh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to play this game. I'm sorry that I did not enjoy it as much as you may have uh, liked me to. Um, but I just want to be honest with you guys. So for me personally, this may not be a game for me to play, uh, but for you guys, maybe it is. I'm sorry I didn't get to show off too, too much of it. Um, but I do want to get this video out to you guys. So what, what I'd like to say more so than anything is there's a lot to it. There's a lot of different distinct items. There seems to be some sort of theme. You can drive cars. I just couldn't, which is really sad. I wanted to drive a car. Um, but there's there's lots of stuff to it. Lots of different debuffs, buffs, perks. Lots of stuff to expand upon if you like the game. And so for that reason, it's probably worth the money. Granted, you do like it. And at the very least, um, you can always try it out on Steam and refund it if you don't like it. And then that way you get to see if you like it. And if you do, you know you have tons and tons of hours ahead of you. Yet again, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.